Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory a shadow of this. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. You know, there is a reward for those who do wickedness. People who just chase others in a very wrong way just for them to be popular. You understand? <clears throat> They just chase you and chase you and chase you and they start creating stories so that they can achieve what they desire. Hear me very well. When I hear this message, the Lord said I should tell somebody that the reproach in your life has disappeared. Yes, it, yes, it has disappeared. It is not it's going to disappear. It has disappeared. That was a very strong word the Lord gave to me. This reproach came into your life as a result of chasing. People were chasing after you, chasing after you, chasing after you. And while they were just chasing after you, they were making their own self popular. You know, there is nothing that whatsoever anyone achieves in life through a way that is not okay, definitely, it will definitely go down because evil cannot last forever. Evil cannot prevail forever. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. In other words, evil cannot prevail over righteousness. The righteousness of God is forever. Because he's going to cut, he's going to cut off the wickedness. You understand? So, whatsoever the enemy does, it cannot last forever. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. That is why they put a lot of pressure on so many people. Because they know that they themselves are going away. They know that they themselves will be judged. They know that God will put an end to wickedness. The Bible says that wickedness of the wicked come to an end. You understand? They understand. That is why they call. They chase after us with a lot of pressure. So that we can as well join them. Because they know they are heading to doom. You understand? Hallelujah. One thing in life is that when you choose something, you already know the danger in it. You know the good in it and you know the danger in it. When, even as a Christian, when you want to do something, maybe you want to take a risk, they will tell you that it is 50-50. You understand? It's like you want to invest. They will tell you that it is 50-50. You can gain, you can lose. So, but as Christian, what do we do? When life becomes, give us that choice of 50-50, we hold on to faith and we choose the 50 that is okay. You understand? We, we hold on to faith with that 50 and we're believing God that this 50 will grow. Is not going to decrease so that is the difference between us and those who does not have the knowledge of god glory to jesus they have been chasing after this person for so long yes they chase you and they became popular they became popular and they tr they, they just do what you know the truth is that people don't care as long as what they do it benefits them even if it hurts others they don't care Especially when I meet people, those specifically, not everyone, those who are lost in wickedness. You understand? They really don't care. You see that most of the things that people have, most people have, was they got it by hurting others. By hurting others. They create their popularity upon people's pain. You see some things that people are creating, they create chemical, they create face things, they create different kinds of things, and people use these things, they go sick. But they that use it, what happened? They grow worthy. You see the difference. So that is one thing about this life. So they chase you to a level where they want you to be depressed. They chase you to a level where they want us to have that reproach. But hear me, child of God. God is taking away that reproach. Because when that reproach leaves your life, there is one particular thing that you will receive. That is promotion of life. 
Yes, you will see that your life is being promoted in a good form. Somebody hear me very well. God is promoting your life and that reproach is removed. Those that have been chasing your life, the Lord is putting an end to the wickedness of men in that life. In your life, it is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister evangelist Sarah, by the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.